A warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the lab session 3 in 8086 microprocessor lab. In this microprocessor lab, we are going to see how to perform the basic logical operations, end operation, or operation not, or negation operation. So here also we are going to see a 16-bit logic and 8-bit 8, 8 logical operations like what we are seeing in basic arithmetic operations. So let's directly go to the program without further delay. So this is a program for the 8-bit arithmetic operations. As you can see here, we are going to use two 8-bit numbers. <coughs> so it is same as your arithmetic operation program except uh, your end are not and negation syntax rest are all same so your initial you have cleared all the four resistors then we have moved 8 bit number 21 h into al resistor and 31 h into bl resistor so once you store two numbers in two resistors and you want to perform the end operation between al content and bl content so if you look at here this is the end operation is nothing but a multiplication kind of thing so when you take the binary form, your hexadecimal number, so it will be 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1 and similarly 31 also. So when you multiply, you are going to end up 1 here and you are going to end up 2 here. So you are going to get 21 as your result. That means when you do the end operation of A and BL, you are going to see your AL register with 21 value. In the next instruction, you are going to do the R operation between 21 and 31 because the new value is 21. So 21 is taken here and R operation, you know, R operation nothing but addition kind of thing. So it will be 1 plus 1 will be 1 and 0 plus 1 will be 1 and 1 plus 1 will be 1. So you are going to get 31 as your answer. So this 31 will be stored in AL register. In the next instruction, you are going to do the NOT operation. NOT operation means 1's complement. So your 31 becomes, so if, you, if you take 1 as 0, 0, 1, if you complement it becomes 1, 0, 0. Here in the next instruction, so if you take the NOT, 31 will be 0, 0, 1, 0, and your 1 will be 0, 0, 0, 1. So your 1 becomes triple 1, 0, that is nothing but E. And if you look at here, this 3 will be 0, 0, double 1. And if you multiply, if you complement it, it will become 1, 1, double 0, that is nothing but C. So this C value is negation or one's complement of 31. An hexadecimal number. Now further in the next instruction, negation. Negation is two's complement. So you have to first negate it. That becomes 31. When you do the first one's complement, it becomes 31. If you add one, it becomes 32. So this is how you can perform the logical operation using 8-bit. Similarly, we can also do the 16-bit operation. So first we'll check whether 8-bit operations are working properly or not. Then we'll see the 16 bit logical operations. Let's copy this program. Now I have copied the program here. Now I am going to emulate it. So now we can see here the step by step. First, we are going to clear all the registers. Since CX has some value, we are going to clear it that value now. Once all the values are clear, now your AX value will be stored with 21, AL value, then BL value will be stored with 31. Now 21, 31 are stored in both the register. Now we are going to perform the end operation that is going to result 21 again. So again 21 has come. In the next instruction, the R operation is going to result 31. So 31 will be replaced here, AL value. Now as you can see, 31 is uh, replaced your previous value in the next instruction not operation of 31 going to produce CE so CE will be produced here as you can see CE is here in the next instruction CE is 2's complement will be 32 that will be replaced here you can see 32 is coming here so this is how you can perform the 8 bit logical operation now we'll see the 16 bit logical operation how it will be done in 16-bit arithmetic operation, everything is same. Only the difference is we are using the AX register instead of AL and BL registers. So make sure when you complement it, you have to take all four bits as your reference value. So you have to first add this. You have to go to end operation of these two in this instruction. Then operation here. 
then not operation what are the resilient value of the previous instructions then negation operation so we are going to see how it is going to give results for us so let's simulate it directly by copy this code so now i copied the 16 bit logical operation code let's emulate it so first clear all the content of ax bx cx and dx then in the next instruction your 16 bit data will be stored in your ax register that means 1121 then 2231 now your ax and bx are stored with two 16 bit numbers then you are going to perform the end operation as you can see you are getting 0021 you can cross check your answer by performing the end operation between ax content and bx content then you are going to do the r operation and you can see 2231 then not operation of 2231 will be ddc then if you do the negation operation you are going to see 2232 as your answer so this is how you can perform the logical operation in 8086 simulator so thank you all